And as we speak, Donald Trump is addressing the Republicans as their official presidential nominee, delivering his first speech since Saturday's assassination attempt. For more, we have our Yi Shi Hu waiting on the line for us. Shi Hu, do fill us in. Right, Min Jung, the former U.S. president is on the stage at the moment at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, accepting the official party nomination. He's delivering his keynote speech, sharing his vision to, quote, usher in a new golden age for America. Now, this is his first public address since he survived an assassination attempt at a rally on Saturday. Now, previously on Sunday, Trump told the Washington Examiner newspaper that he decided to rewrite his speech following the assassination attempt and that he'll share a message of unity instead of making attacks on Joe Biden, the current U.S. president and the presidential candidate for the Democratic Party. Today, before Trump's speech, many of his supporters delivered their own speeches. That includes his son, Eric Trump, and the wrestler, Hulk Hogan. Right, and we hear that President Joe Biden running against Trump is reportedly facing more pressure from his party to end his campaign. That is correct, Min Jung. According to U.S. media reports, leading Democrats have privately pushed the Democratic Party candidate and current U.S. President Joe Biden to drop out of the election race. The Associated Press and The Washington Post reported that former U.S. President Barack Obama has privately expressed concerns to Democrats about the viability of Biden's candidacy. Now, Senator John Hickenlooper told, Hickenlooper told Reuters on Wednesday that Biden is working towards a decision on whether to stay in the presidential race that is good for the country. But other Democrats continue to support Biden in his contest against Trump, with Vice President Kamala Harris saying unity does not involve, quote, an agenda that deprives whole groups of Americans of basic freedoms, opportunity and dignity. Min Jung. Thank you. That was our Yi Shi Hu reporting live.